Hello everyone. Well, today we're going to be having a look at the Journey song, Don't Stop Believing. I just played you a bit of the intro there. That was the piano intro, but you can play it on the guitar. So today we're going to have a look at all the rhythm parts. So we're going to look at the open chords. We're going to look at that little cool bass line in the tune. And uh, we're also going to have a look at that, that piano intro I just did there. And finally, we're going to have a look at the solo, which is a good one. It's pretty easy. It's a good one to start with. I'm just going to do that in another video. So this is part one, which is the rhythm section. OK, so let's first of all take a look at the chords. OK, so the chords of this tune, pretty straightforward. Some bar chords in here. It's an E, then up to a B chord. to a C-sharp minor, which is on the 4th fret with that A minor shape, then to an A chord. That's the first time around, all right, so we have... I'm playing my A like this, if you like that way to play A, that's fine. So, that's the first time round. So, here's the second time round. Second time round, pretty much the same. Uh, it just changes uh, to a G minor, G sharp minor, instead of C sharp minor. So, let me just play that for you so it goes. E is the same. B is the same. But then it goes to G sharp minor. So, that's a bar down the fourth fret. Your third finger on the sixth fret and your little finger on the sixth fret also on the A and D strings, all right? So it's like an E minor shape on the fourth. And then back to A again. So let me play those two sections through for you so you have this. And that's the chords for the verse. Here's a fun part. This is the bass line part, which goes over the top of the piano intro. And a, a bit later on, it goes over the top just before the guitar solo with a distorted guitar. It's a really fun part to play. This is the bass line. All right, so for this bass line part, uh, we have open E, two, four on the low E to two on the uh, A. So. Then go up to four, six, four on the A, all right? And then one, two on the D, and then an open A. And then you can do exactly the same thing, one to two on the D, but this time hit an open E. Okay, so let me play that through, so. That's for the B chord, for the C sharp. Now the second time through the chords is a little different for the, for the bass line, so this bit is the same. That E part is the same, but here it changes, 4, 6, and then 4 on the low E instead of 4 on the A. And then just go up to A. So let me play those sections through. That's the bass line part to play over the chords. Let's take a look now at the chords for the chorus section, which is slightly different and there's a muted, par muted part going on here. So let's take a look at that. Now this part uh, might cause a bit of trouble. Um, it's basically you're going from B to an A chord, but you might not recognize these shapes. So that, so if you put your first finger, this is the B chord, uh, seven on the B, eight on the G, nine on the D. That's, that's the chord. Now, if you move that shape back two frets, so you're on seven, six, five, six, seven, I'm sorry. So five, six, seven. All right, now that is an A chord. So, okay, so we got these two shapes. So you're going B, A, then you play B again. Now you're going to go to an E chord. Now an E chord up here is just like an A chord on the second fret, 
just play across the 9 on D, 9 on G, 9 on the B, and you get that, that there. So this section, you'll really, if I simplify it, you're doing this. Okay, so you're going B, A, B, E, B, E, B, E, and then you repeat that three more times, so. Another two times after that. So now what is also going on here is you have this part, a uh, little muted part. Now this is a little confusing because what you're doing here is from the on the B to the A you're playing an open A string. Alright, so I'm muting that as well with my right hand so it's not it's but now when you go back to the, the B chord again, this time, because we're going to the E chord, we go. You see what I did there? I'm playing now the open E string instead of the A, so. Might take you a couple of goes to get that. That's a bit confusing, isn't it? But let me play it slow. So here's the A string. Now I switch to the E. that whole section four times, all right? Okay, so that's the, the basic chords to this tune. Now, um, the, the next part you wanna do is this piano intro, which is the same as the chords, but they're just played in a slightly different way. So let's take a look at that. Okay, I hope you're ready for some stretchy finger time. Uh, now, all these chords are the same as the strummy chords, but they're played slightly differently. So, uh, what we're doing here is we're playing an E chord. So, if you put a little bar on the fourth fret across the G, B, and E, put your second finger here on the fifth fret of the B, your little finger might be a bit of a stretch on the seventh fret. And the, the picking pattern is this. This is an E chord, by the way. So what you do is your thumb plays the G and your um, what would that be? Your second finger and third finger plays the B in an E, so it's this. And you pluck everything at first. This is the same picking pattern for everything, which is good. Then your thumb and then the B and E together. So and you're just alternating like that, so. Okay, now let me just show you the other shapes and we'll put it together. So that's the E chord. For the B chord, leave that fourth finger where it is and your little finger is gonna bar now the seventh fret of the high E and the B. Your little finger might feel a bit weak at first, so that, that might feel a bit tricky, but you'll, you'll get used to it. Don't practice this too much because it, it, it hurts your fingers, so give it a rest if they start to hurt. So here's the first shape, E, here's the B, all right. Here's the C sharp, a little C sharp. Leave the four bar where it is and add just that second finger like we did with the first shape and nothing else. Not C sharp. Okay, here's a tricky one, the A chord. If you, it's gonna be basically the same as the second shape, but move it down to the second fret. So if you have a bar on the second fret, cross the G, B and E strings, and then your little finger is barring the five on the high E, five on the B and you get that. So let me put that together. This is the first time round, okay? Because remember, this is G sharp for the second time of the chord progression. Okay, that's the E, B, now C sharp. Now the tricky one. Second time is E, now the B the same. Now we're going to go to G sharp minor. How are we going to play that? Take everything off, leave the bar on the fourth fret. And then the last chord is the same as the A. 
so uh, you might find it's pretty hard to like move and also go back to the beginning again. Let me play it through view once more so you can hear it. Uh, I'll kind of play it up to speed. See, I didn't make it that time. <laughs> back up here. Now G sharp. Yeah, got it that time. <laughs> so that's the little piano intro part.